<laughs> Marina waved us down as we arrived in Bordianca. Hey, you want a excuse? It was horrific here, she says. You have no idea. My neighbor had to bury her son in our backyard, she says. You have to come see. She takes us through the back gate to the shallow grave, but then goes to get her neighbor, Thaisa. What's good that we found? That's 80-year-old Thaisa has now buried both her children. She says her son Roman was 57. She'll rebury him in a cemetery when this is all over. In the back and in the front. She tells me Roman was shot in the back by Russian troops as he was walking away. The next morning, he was dead. The Russians are liars, she says. They're all liars. Her grandson, Dimitro, comes over. He returned. I came back. He's already dead. But it was too late. How did you find out that your father had died? Uh, when I go here. So you came back, came back expecting to see him? Yes, yes. He's angry. It's bull****. All they're saying is bull****. Heading east to fight for his father. <laughs> and Thaisa taking my hands, you need to have a happy life. She wants to show us pictures at her apartment. That's Roman when he was little. What was he like? He was smart, she says. He spoke English. He brought me tulips on my birthday. She says she doesn't have any recent photos. So this is how she'll remember her boy. Lester, there are so many heartbreaking stories like this, but because there's no cell service in so much of the country, many people are just now learning about the death of loved ones. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.